This is Twit. Uh, Andy Rubin earlier today uh, released the hounds, showed off his new phone product, the Essential Phone. That is the name. No branding on the device. It's currently up for pre-order for $699. You can see renders of the phone here. I don't know if we've seen any actual pictures. I think every photo that you see right now is all render. Uh, well, so there was, that, there, was that, there was that photo of it in Andy's pocket from a couple of months ago, right? Yeah, the corner, like the yeah. top, you know, rounded corner of it. Octa-core uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gig storage, QHD display, fingerprint reader on the back, 13 megapixel dual rear-facing cameras, uh, f1.85 lens. The dual in this case is with a monochrome uh, camera to improve low light performance, so it's not used for the bokeh. It's more for just having just the best quality pictures and lighting and all that. Uh, for those watching the stream, please appreciate this little mechanism happening on the screen right now, which you can uh, view yeah. at the Essential website, by the way. All you have to do is scroll down, and you'll see the little 360-degree camera module like slowly turn and to show Very you how cool. it clips and snaps on. right on the back. Yeah, so, so, I mean, what are the things that really differentiate this? It has a USB-C no headphone jack. There's a dongle in the box. Dongle in the box. Uh, pure nougat. That's great. You're talking about the two time. Is, I think there's like two X accessory power pins on the back. It's not a data transfer power pin implementation like you saw on the Moto phones. It's specifically just to offer power. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, allow for. Tra uh, the transfer of data that all happens wirelessly so you can snap an accessory in this case a 360 degree camera which is what we're seeing examples of and i'm not sure what that video is sure but kid geez. <laughs> what is this youtube what? jeez jeez uh, oh there's quest love uh there you go quest love um so you can snap in this case you can snap the 360 degree camera to the back, it's magnetic, it snaps right into place, and it turns the phone into a 360-degree camera, essentially, uh, as you would expect. Um, let's see here. What else? Uh, the It's a, uh, what is it, titanium design. They, so the, they made a big deal about how it is not going to break. Right. Titanium right? is the, very durable. Yeah, it's the, and they actually, they did a drop test. Here it is, and then they actually show photos of it compared next to a iPhone and then another phone. I forget what it is, showing the damage to the core uh, right here. Seeing that? Like, oh, I think that's a S7 yeah. edge, yep. it looks like. So Okay, so, so the t that's if it lands on the titanium part. What if it lands on the... Um, the glass. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's not glass, it's ceramic. Mm -hmm. Isn't yeah. ceramic highly... It's clay. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is. It's baked clay. Yeah, but so, who cares? Look at that Ocean Depths color one, though, man. That is hot. That is super with, awesome. With okay. the copper highlights? Like, that is, like, listen, I don't. I mean, I know we're still going through the specs, and I don't want to be too bullish, but, folks, I think we're looking at my next phone. Mm, this is your next, huh? I, I'm very Was there, like, a general this. murmur that I just heard after? What? After Ron said that, there was, like, a general murmur, just like... <laughs> I said, mm. I, I don't know. Did somebody else do it? That was me too. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Whoa. I mean, listen, listen, look at, look at that. Like, there's literally nearly no bezel. The screen is so big. It's got to go around the selfie camera on the front, the front facing camera. Right. How do you feel about that? Because that I actually poses a little bit of an interesting conundrum with the notification bar. I think it forces the notification bar to be a little bit thicker. And also it splits up the notification bar. What if you got stuff running across there? Is it going to be covered? Is it going to be routed around? What does the software do to Jason, accommodate for that? Unlike you, I try to have little to no notifications in that bar, so it, it will actually work for me, because currently right now in the dead center of my phone, I got nothing there. So What about when you just don't, you're, you're in a meeting for five hours, you get out of your meeting and your notifications are covering that thing? I'm not that popular. Oh, okay. Let's just, let's By the honest, way, be my best guy friend just signed me to say that titanium scratches very easily. Uh, Ooh, there it is. No. Oh dear. Oh but uh, um, one thing's for certain, if uh, Ron does get that phone, I'll get him a purple Mockadile case to go with it. I don't well, know if they'll I, make I that would, for that, Mateo. He'll I would find love it. The mock, I would love the Mockadile case for it, but I would want to hide that beautiful green and copper accented uh, design. That, that is a... Like, the, okay, so here's the thing. I This morning woke up, saw the news, checked it out, thought it was... I was very impressed by everything. It's not perfect. I don't like the price. I think it's very expensive, but of course it is a flagship phone or it's a premium, whatever. So there's a high cost to it. 
Um, I don't like the fact that the green isn't reservable right now. It's just coming soon. So like literally, like I had the I had the the uh, the, the Futurama take my money moment, but I couldn't. They wouldn't take it because it's not it's not it's it's coming soon. Uh, it's well, not none, and none of them are available right now. All yeah, you none can, of them, but, but you can pre-order the black or the white. You can't pre-order the green or what's the other color? The gray. The oh, gray. I see what you mean. Yeah, I yeah, think I so, did. Like, I think I, I did the white. Like, no joke, I got so caught up in the hype earlier today that I was ready to put the money down on the green one if it was available. I totally would have done it blindly just because I was like, wow, it's running stock Android. There's a whole – he talks all about getting rid of bloatware and all this stuff, building it just a simple, good phone. Like, this is the vision of Andy Rubin now, however, eight, seven years later, right? Yeah, just shut That's up and wrong. take my money. That's wrong. You know? Redhead Ron, uh, as we like to call him. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, like so. So Andy had a vision back in the day, and now this is like the hardware has caught up to his vision. So like, and I I understand. I like to get on board. This is how I was with the next bit. I understand. I get it. Like I'm very easily impressed at this early stage. But take my money. I'm good. Should we Should we uh, invite Andy on the show to say a few things about this? I would like to hear what Andy has to say about it. Of essential of essentials design mission, Andy Rubin said, "Product design for me isn't more complicated than just building a product for myself. It could be something as simple as bad battery life, or a user interface that was unusable, or a bunch of fluff and bloatware that I didn't need." So Andy's Bravo, Andy. Bravo. So Andy's creating a phone as he says he's done in the past with a Sidekick. And with other uh, hardware that he's been involved with, he's creating a phone that appeals to the things that he really wants out of a device. Flo, is this your next? We know this is Ron's next bit. Is no, this your next bit? I'm sorry. I think this is a pet project of somebody who misses his old job and is trying to put something together. And maybe that's... So? I just... Because, listen, I read... This is how I feel. I... I I just, I read the objective on the website and all I could read was, this is my vision. These are the thoughts that I had that come from my brain. But for me, the perfect phone already exists and it's the Google Pixel XL. Like that's the phone that became it for me this last year. Well, and so for somebody to come to me and say, you know, here's a $700 phone that by the way is missing a lot of things that other flagships have. And yes, the Pixel is missing those too, but you know. Well, what is it? Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. So two, two things there, Flo. Um, and I, I love the passion. I love it. <laughs> um, one, um, clearly the marketing presentation for Essential is positioning Andy Rubin in a much more public facing, dare I say, Steve Jobsian role. That's true. Right. Which I believe, which I believe is a effort to get the brand out there in front of people and give it some gravitas. They're saying the godfather of Android and all this sort of stuff, right? right? I think that's purely a marketing decision, okay? Um, in terms of the phone side, I think that I, I trust the guy. The guy, the sidekick was one of the best selling phones 10 plus years ago, right? Like that was a that was a kick-ass innovative design at the time. And it's not like if this was just another China phone, that looked like every other phone that we've seen for the past two years, I would stop, but look at that bezel. Look at the challenges it's trying to do, the pogo pins on the back, the the, the, the approach to accessories, right? Yes, it doesn't have a headphone jack. Guess what, everybody, get over it. Your next phone in the next two years will not have a headphone jack, I promise you, it's over. Like I, and like and that's the thing. Like it was, I was talking to a bunch of coworkers today and they're, they're like, oh, it doesn't have a headphone jack. And I looked around and they all had Bluetooth headphones already. Like it's it's already move we're we're moving past the headphone jack and, and we need to get past it now. I will say that in the essential website, uh, in their marketing materials, they do say, and this quote, "Don't you hate it when you have to buy new dongles, chargers, and accessories every time your phone is upgraded?" And the fact that this phone does come with a dongle for the headphone jack makes me laugh because they just contradicted themselves immediately in their marketing. But that said, I think that this is very exciting. I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot, but I, I just I. I understand where you're coming from, Flo, but don't put the marketing in uh, to overshadow the actual device, which I think is a pretty solid, you know, uh, design forward uh, approach. And you know what? I think, Ron, that's like totally, completely fair. Obviously, yeah. I am very passionate about this. Guys. Sure. <laughs> I think we all are. I'm, I'm in a what? mode. I'm in a mode this year where technology, I'm kind of looking at it a little differently than I have in years past. And it's. I mean, quite honestly, it's taking a little more to wow me. And I think I completely agree that there is, because there's so much like marketing uh, focus on Andy Rubin and just mm. because of 
the history that we have that I am coming at it from that particular historical bias that I have. However, I definitely agree with you that what we don't have right now is a phone that looks as great as the Galaxy S8, but has like the simplicity of the Pixel operating system. And it sounds like, I think part of the reason, Ron, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like the part of the reason you're excited about this because it kind of is that. Like that's yeah. that's what's being posited. Like that's what's being presented. Now, and, and I don't want to, and I, I want to hear what Mateo has to say about this, yes. but I'll say one more thing. I'll say one more thing in response to Flo, some of your comments. I know, I, you know, you have, you know, the tech world can be challenging sometimes, things like that. But I thought it was very interesting on the essential website, at least, in addition to putting Andy Andy Rubin in a Steve Jobsian kind of position, that they were highlighting and spotlighting lots of members of their team, including uh, several women. Right. So I it's so true. like wh while it is Andy Rubin, when I browse the entire essential website, I got the sense of a larger team doing it and doing really cool things. Uh, right now, Andy Rubin is actually on stage at uh, at Code showing the oh. showing the phone off. Oh, so oh, it's not oh, are we gonna, the are render. We, I put it in chat in? for you, Brian. Let's jump in. Um, I mean, we can just show it while we kind of talk about it. If you hit play, you'll see he's he's up there uh, right now. Kind of talking about it it's and showing YouTubes, it off. YouTube's FYI. It All right, so I mean, okay, so Mateo, oh, we haven't heard your thoughts look on this, this Mateo. This. Please, All right, Mateo, please, yeah. please tell us how you feel because you you are a man that very often comes on this show and shows off phones that are hard, you know that that are unique in their own right, at least to us in the United States, because often they're not available in the U.S. market very readily, and so they do very unique things. Also, how, where does this stand in that spectrum? Do you think? I think this is a, a very, very interesting device, and I, I initially was caught up in the hype a bit like uh, Ron was. So this is something different. It's done by a separate company, who, which seem to be less influenced by the power struggles that are happening within the industry. So it's interesting to see that happen. But when you then drill down into the specs and into what's if you go past the marketing, there are a few things that uh, in a way disappoint me. This is a device with a 5.7 inch screen, a lovely screen with curved corners and that uh, selfie camera cut into the screen. Uh, but it only has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. I'm worried that with a Snapdragon 835, no matter how efficient it is, that big screen will drain the battery pretty fast, especially if you start doing something as such as uh, streaming music or video, or you're in low reception areas where your phone has to continuously try and reconnect with cell towers. It's a lovely, lovely device. Look at how shiny the back of that device is and the dual camera setup. Man, that is, is quite an array of like sensors and cameras right up there at the top, and the, and the little pins. I'm just, everything. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by how Steve Jobsian this is right now. <laughs> it is very. I'm, I'm like, this is like so. This is like. I'm sorry, this Mateo. This is like a decade ago. This reminds me no, no, of like the, 2006. Sorry, right? Mateo. By the way, you beautifully describe phones. I just want you to know. Uh, <laughs> but it's very. Thank you. <laughs> It's just this whole like the red, uh, the Ricoh chair and the whole yeah. like, so, I feel like deja vu right now. <laughs> so for the audio listeners, we're watching Walt Mossberg stroke Andy Rubin's phone. <laughs> On stage. <laughs> and that's like I said, Mateo's great it's with descriptions. <laughs> and you just shut it down right there, Mateo. Thank you very much. <laughs>